I think that there were probably two moments, um, but they both fall within the same period of time. And that's the moment that I left university. Uh, and then the second one would be the moment when I joined Corey Bands. And the, the time between those two events was probably only two or three months. Um, but what, what that made me realize is that for, for so many years, for all of my playing uh, days, I'd had lessons with someone and someone was telling me what to do, almost um, feeding me information. And then from that point that I left university, and then joined Corey, I soon realized that actually I had to improve all by myself. So that was where I guess my attitude and um, thought and process behind practicing really changed because um, it was me that was going to have to make me better and I wasn't able to rely on anyone else. And I guess as well, going from, say, student to teacher, you then start to think about what it is that you do because other people are asking, how do you do that? And suddenly you have to go, oh, I don't know, I've not really thought about it that way before. You have to reverse things. I found that when I started teaching, um, my playing improved drastically, um, mainly because I was playing with, with, with the kids all day long. You know, it might be nine o'clock in the morning. I'd, I'd just, it might be some like hot cross buns, but the fact that it's on your face, that really helped me. But um, but yeah, you're right in, in what you said, but in that when I teach, I often think about, well, would I do that myself? And so it's a, case, it's a classic case of practice what you preach. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely improved me as a, as a player and a teacher.